YouTube. Today we're going to talk about um, drugs. <clears throat> okay, you remember a long time ago, black people, they were on cocaine. And people would call them junkies or jays and stuff like that. Some of those people today are still on them and haven't gotten off of them. And the government or whoever is not giving them help. Because they are black. And they wanted to lock them up. The ones that selling drugs to them. The ones that's doing drugs. They want to give them 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. And lock them up because they black. But, which was wrong. So, today, we got a whole bunch of white folks on opioid. Like a whole city. But they saying that they want to give them help, put them in the hospital because they don't know no better and things like that. But it's the same with black people, but they treated us wrong. And that's why it came back on the air. So why they didn't give us no help? Well, give them help because I went on it. Thank God. So why they didn't give black people help? They need help too. They couldn't control themselves. It's like they're trying to say these, the white people, they can't control themselves because uh, they on opioid. It's no different. It's just a different color race. And all this stuff ain't nothing but a setup. They want to help. The white, but they don't want to help the blacks. That's the reason why they're kicking their ass out of South Africa. They don't want to help their ass. They don't want to help the whites in South Africa. It's just all coming back on them. That's what it is, and that's what it needs to be. If they can get the white folks help, they can get the black people help. So all these people swung out on opioid and all this, these other drugs and stuff, but they want to help them and put them in the hospital. Give them money. They help them out, help their families out and all this and that, but they want to lock all us up, which is not right. And then I saw this video. On YouTube that I'm going to share with you guys of these two white employees I'm not sure if they had a uh, family dollar or wherever they at and then they have uh, customers in line trying to be waited on and they standing they damn dumb asses up there which they need to be fired at home somewhere out on the street or whatever Standing at the register, damn sleep. Who the hell stand up there and sleep on the job when you got customers right in front of you trying to pay for their shit? Two white gals. Two white old white gals. Need to be fired. Can't wait on the customers because they up there, damn. So I leave. I mean, sleeping at the register, standing up like damn zombies. Two damn zombies. One trying to ring the shit up, but she stopped. And the lady asked her, did she have all the stuff rung up? She said, yeah, but she stopped for a minute. She don't know what the hell going on. I see her there asleep waiting on the damn customer. And then the other one, she putting the shit in the bag. In a slow motion. She don't know if she put all the shit in the bag or not. That's a damn shame. They need to be out getting their ass some damn help. Or putting their ass in jail like they did the black people. If you don't get out my damn video, I'm going to knock the shit out of you, boy. Okay, that's it. I ain't going to knock the shit out of him. But he messed up my video. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all that video next. Hello, you see you on Facebook, man? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for you, baby? 